Okie Country 101.7, continuous country, Muskogee's own Swan Brothers with later on, which is uh, being added by radio stations across the country. And we're so excited for them. I can't help but groove to that one. It is a good it. one. 917 with Cliff and Katie. It's a big weekend for Muskogee, the Bare Bones International Film and Music Festival. I wanted to, you know, I always wanted, I mean, I love radio and this is my 26th year. Okay. But I, I always loved and have been infatuated with movies, documentaries, and all that. And the Bare Bones Film Festival enables us to get to talk with people that are putting these projects together and the passion. And uh, our next, he's a DJ, but he's never been on the radio before. <laughs> How does that work? Well, you know, we uh, mainly do a lot of private events and that type of thing. So uh, I've always had a great respect for radio DJs. So it's a, it's a true honor to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Daniel Espute. I'm from Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I'm actually here because of my documentary feature directorial debut. It's a lot of D's, I know. Grease Paint. It's about the art of American circus clowning, and it actually is up for the best educational documentary feature here at the Bare Bones Festival, and I am the first documentary filmmaker to be up for Indie Auteur of the Year wow. this year, so I'm really excited about it. Now, Thank we were you. talking off mic about this, you know, and I've shared with you my deep-rooted, probably need therapy for, <laughs> fear of clowns. This is definitely the, the film for you, because we actually made this to try to negate the stereotypes of clowns especially the negative ones i mean hollywood has kind of painted a bad picture well thanks with, to stephen king you know he's yeah, come up with it, some really creepy it. stuff yeah killer clowns from outer space yeah, that was you know another. what we did was my good friend joey thurmond hired me to do a promotional video a few years back we became good friends and we decided you know this is a really interesting project and joey knew a lot of famous circus performers that were willing to talk about this and give us their time and we spent about three years not only interviewing them, but also following Joey and his family, the No Joe Circus family, on the road, basically trying to make audiences laugh and, of course, still sustain a business at the same time, which is, you know... It's tough for them, isn't it? Oh, yeah. this It's a very great story of chasing the American dream. So we definitely feel like, even if you're not a circus fan or you don't know anything about the circus or clowns, this is for you. And, of course, if you are a circus fan, if you love clowning, or if you're a hobbyist clown... There is no bigger collection of famous circus and clowning professionals than this, what we have right here. And Oklahoma has a circus connection. That's right. We actually did. Uh, we actually went to Michigan, and we followed the Kelly Miller Circus up there to interview Steve Copeland and Ryan Combs, and uh, they were just very hospitable. And one of the things that we really found out was every circus – is like this really tight-knit family. What, is, what was your inspiration? Because this is kind of, you know, you obviously were interested in clowning. Oh, yeah. You know, I actually didn't really have a, an opinion of clowning either way. I just knew that it was, a, it, was, it was definitely one of the oldest art forms of performing. I mean, you go back to the court jester, to the town fool. Mm -hmm. A clown has existed in our society in some form or another. And so, I am the town fool here, so yeah. You, <laughs> really? Yeah, you, you, you found it. <laughs> oh, good. No, but your documentary, how long does it run, and when can our listeners go check it out? Because it looks like you've done a lot of, I mean, from an art standpoint, it is one of the earliest forms of, uh, I guess, comedic performing art. Absolutely. Period, right? Oh, absolutely. It and is. Well, it sounds actually, very interesting. When is your movie going to be playing? It's going to be happening right here in Muskogee, the Oklahoma premiere at the Bare Bones International Film and Music Festival at the Three Rivers Museum, April 12th at 4 p.m. It is 83 minutes running time. 83 minutes, okay. Yes. Pack full. Well, it sounds very interesting. I want to see it. I, I actually want to see it, even though I am very frightened of clowns. Please now, do. Reserve her a seat. She wants to sit on the back row <gasps> nearest the door. That would mean the world to me and clowns everywhere if you came. <laughs> it really would. Clowns do everywhere. Do you hear that a lot, that people don't like or are afraid of clowns? Yes. Actually, it's it's definitely very common, but that's that was the primary focus. You know, I, I, always, have a, uh, I always have to combat bad DJs that paint a, uh, a poor light for me as a DJ. If I'm trying to book a job or something like that, there's always someone that says, oh, well, we went to this wedding or this bar mitzvah or this whatever, and the DJ was just so horrible. And as much as it's that's that person that did that, it's going, it deters 
other people from maybe even hiring a DJ versus maybe a band or we something have run like into that. that. Oh, that's naysayers. We know, we You're know gonna run exactly into them everywhere, what you were so. talking about. Exactly. You know we what? Do. You got to keep doing what you do. And yeah. Anytime you're as passionate, obviously you've got this passion about multi things and i think you should just keep doing it you know yeah. i had an uncle tell me a long time ago and he said and i was 17 at the time i had no idea what he meant and he said when you find a line of work that you do where you are having fun where you enjoy what you do you'll never work a day in your life and i had no idea at the time i'm like i think he's lost it you know <laughs> you know but radio is is that for me 26 years i mean i know that it's work there are days where it does but overall it doesn't i mean i get to sit and talk with filmmakers we like get yourself to and very very lots of great people, people I get, every day you know my favorite part is i get free coffee yeah. oh that's amazing <laughs> that is awesome and so I tell us again the name of the movie yes it is grease paint okay. documentary feature by me daniel espute writer director and producer it's happening the oklahoma premiere is tomorrow april 12th at 4 p.m. at the Three Rivers Museum. Daniel, thanks for being Thank here. You. Great job. Awesome. Great Thank you. You are now a radio DJ, man. Yes, you are. Yes. You are an honorary <laughs> disc jockey on Okie Country 101.7. Even though you're not in the market, you are on our role here as a we DJ. We appreciate okay? you very you're much. Thank you so not much. Not only are you a performing DJ, you're an on-air DJ as of right now. 935, a look at weather says the weekend looks fantastic. Ooh, near 80 degrees for the high temperature today. And looks like it's going to be a great day today and for the whole weekend. And Daniel, you better back in here because uh we missed a very important announcement that when you were on the air talking about your documentary a few minutes ago and of of all announcements i mean your documentary is coming up it's playing at the three rivers tomorrow but there's one announcement that's bigger than all other announcements and i cannot believe we missed it yes i just wanted to say hello to my mother and father out streaming this right now in lawrenceville georgia donald and bridget espute thank you guys so much for all your support and bringing me into this world i just can't thank you guys enough Aww. and i tell you what i appreciate it too and if they want to drive into muskogee tonight we'll get them uh, hooked up for the chili cook-off okay i think they'd love that they love you chili tell them to start driving well at least right. we have two new <laughs> listeners for today that's anyway. right daniel so. thank you and good luck to you my friend <laughs> thank, I you. thank you guys you so good luck much. thank you so much